Apple Car 2025, a leapfrog product for the automotive industry. Apple is known for creating innovative products that redefine the boundaries of technology and user experience. The iPhone, the iPad, the Apple Watch and the AirPods are some of the examples of how Apple has revolutionized various industries with its leapfrog products. Now, the tech giant is aiming to enter the car market with a self-driving electric vehicle that could be launched as soon as 2025, according to a report by Bloomberg. The Apple Car Project, also known as Project Titan, has been in development since at least 2014, but has faced several challenges, delays and management changes along the way. The project was initially led by Steve Zadesky, a former Ford engineer who left Apple in 2016. It was then taken over by Bob Mansfield, a veteran Apple executive who retired in 2020. The current leader of the project is Kevin Lynch, the software chief of the Apple Watch, who took over from Doug Field, a former Tesla executive who defected to Ford in September 2021. Under Lynch's leadership, the Apple Car team is reportedly pushing hard to debut a product by 2025, with a bold vision of creating a fully autonomous vehicle that would require no human intervention at all. The car would have no steering wheel or pedals, and the interior would be designed for hands-off driving, with one possible design featuring passengers sitting around a U-shaped seating formation. The car would also feature a new processor design and advanced sensors for self-driving capabilities, as well as a sleek and minimalist design that would reflect Apple's aesthetic values. Apple's ambition to create a fully driverless car is not surprising, given its history of creating products that outperform and outsmart existing competitors. However, it is also a very challenging and risky endeavor, as no company has yet achieved such a level of autonomy in the automotive industry. Tesla, Alphabet's Waymo and others have been working on self-driving technology for years, but have only achieved partial autonomy that still requires human supervision and intervention. Waymo is the only company that has launched a limited self-driving taxi service in some areas of Arizona, but it still faces technical and regulatory hurdles. Apple's advantage in this race is its expertise in hardware and software integration, as well as its loyal customer base and brand reputation. Apple has also been testing its self-driving technology on public roads since 2017, using a fleet of 69 Lexus SUVs equipped with its sensors and cameras. According to Bloomberg, Apple has made a breakthrough on the chip it intends to use for the car's self-driving system, which could give it an edge over other competitors. However, Apple also faces many challenges and uncertainties in its car project. One of them is the business model. It is not clear whether Apple intends to sell its car to individual customers or to offer it as part of a ride-hailing service like Uber or Lyft. The former option would be more consistent with Apple's strategy of selling premium products at high margins, but it would also limit its market potential and face competition from established carmakers. The latter option would be more aligned with the trend of mobility as a service, but it would also require Apple to build a large fleet of cars and manage complex logistics and operations. Another challenge for Apple is the regulatory environment. Self-driving cars are subject to different laws and regulations in different countries and regions, which could affect their safety and performance standards. Apple would have to comply with these rules and obtain approvals from various authorities before launching its car in different markets. Moreover, Apple would have to deal with ethical and social issues related to self-driving cars, such as liability, privacy and security. A third challenge for Apple is the timeline. While 2025 may seem like a realistic goal for launching a prototype or announcing a product, it may not be enough time for mass production and commercialization. Given the complexity and novelty of self-driving technology, Apple may face technical difficulties and unforeseen problems that could delay or derail its plans. Moreover, Apple may face competition from other players who may launch their own self-driving cars before or around 2025.
In conclusion, Apple's car project is one of the most ambitious and exciting endeavors in the tech industry today. It represents Apple's vision of creating a leapfrog product that could transform the automotive industry and redefine mobility. However, it also involves many challenges and risks that could affect its feasibility and success. Whether Apple can achieve its goal of launching a fully driverless car by 2025 remains to be seen.